Can cognitive and behavioral changes be symptoms of new disease activity or only the result of residual damage from past disease activity? So that's a very good question. And, you know, typically cognitive symptoms are not presenting symptoms of MOGAD. I think we know that in, especially in adults, optic neuritis, transverse myelitis are typical presenting symptoms. However, cognitive symptoms are quite prevalent in the presentation of ADEM, so acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, and that occurs in children quite predominantly. But that's also associated with lethargy, with uh, what's called encephalopathy, or just being very tired and sleepy and even obtunded. So that's really where we start to see a lot of cognitive issues being one of the first symptoms of a MOGAD relapse, but it's usually associated with lethargy. So that's in the context of ADEM. Now, ADEM can also occur in older people, and so in teenagers, adults, we've seen cases of ADEM, and again, that's where cognitive symptoms, lethargy, can be a presenting symptom. And I think that's different than, you know, sort of residual symptoms from just generally having MOGAD, having brain lesions, and we know that MOG fog or fatigue can also be a, a result of having MOG lesions, and, uh, and that needs different types of treatments.